It is Ramadan day 10. Alhamdulillah. We are 19 to 20 days more to go. We pray Allah help us achieve the most throughout the month. Amin. Still on our series, Good Character, we are still discussing on weeding the grass, where we said weeding the grass means doing away with our negativities so as to create space to be able to plant that is to be able to begin to grow and develop the good character so far we have stated four ways in which to weed the grass and today we are supposed to be entering the fifth way however i have been missing in action for two days now i'm sorry about it it was just an inevitable circumstance but because of that I would like to discuss two points today. So it would be within the grass five and six. Now let's begin with number five, which is the simplest one, which is always do the right thing. Have you ever noticed that the people who commit crime always think that you also do the same thing? It is true, and I think every one of us at this stage in our lives can relate to that one person at least that has crossed paths with us that is always thinking people are doing the wrong thing because he is guilty of that thing. For example, a partner who cheats, he or she goes around talking to girls anyhow or talking to boys anyhow, just flirting around, will always think you have something to do with someone outside with the slightest message or call. And it's not their fault, you know. It's because their brain has been accustomed to knowing if somebody is out of their father's house or out of their husband's house, after 10 p.m., then they are automatically somewhere doing something bad. And it's because their brain has recorded that each time they go out by that time, they are always doing something bad. And that is why by default, these people, by default, they always tend to put everybody in that category now. Hardly will you see them give people excuses to say okay it might be this it might be that and that is because they have trained their brains to walk that way so to avoid this now always make sure you do the right thing stay within the bounds of the sharia and now before we move to our sixth point i am ashwal alwal you're welcome to my channel here our contents on personal development and Islamic education in the forms of Islamic lifestyle, Quran lesson, Tajweed lesson, and Quran recitation. It would be good to have you around. We love you to be part of our little family. So please do subscribe to this channel so that you would help us grow. Turn on the all notification button so that you would be notified each time we release a video. Like this video so that YouTube would push it out to more people and they would benefit from it, thereby serving as Sadaqatun Jariya for you. And now to our sixth point, which is be used to people being who they are. I don't know of you. But I know, as reserved as I am, I have gotten into trouble with people that have never ever been my cup of tea. Someone would come and tell me what someone said about me, which the person talking about me, I have never spoken to them. I don't even know much about them. Perhaps I just see their faces. I don't even know their names. But they are already talking about me to the extent that someone would have to come back and inform me. Like, hello? Have you ever been there? I don't know, but I've been there so many times. People are just like that. Some people, it's not about you as in you 
particular person, you Muhammad, you Aisha, you whatever. Mm -mm. It's about them being who they are. They don't pick. They just do it randomly. So the day it comes to your turn, you definitely be in their list of gossip or hurt or anything else. So just be used to this type of people and be used to life being the way it is that you would have many such surprising encounters to say, I don't even know this person. People can be so petty and many people don't know what to use this life for. They don't know that every minute that passes is them going, is their lives they are losing. They don't know of it. They don't know the value of time. So instead of using their time to do the right thing, they use it to plot things against you. They use it to talk about you and all. But trust me, being that I have been there, like since primary school, I know I have been encountering things like this and even up to date. And believe me, you, every time it's bounced back to them. Even if they manage to cause me some trouble for some time, at the end of the day, Allah vindicates me. Alhamdulillah. In fact, the very first time I ever had something like this was in primary school. And I used to be part of the best people in my class. So someone planted something in my seat. And my friend actually saw how and she did that, but she didn't know the purpose of it. The next day I came to the class and I was called out of the class to be asked what the paper was for. And it was after a test. And I was like, what paper? It wasn't even my handwriting. The teacher was asking me what the paper was for. And it was for the subject we finished. Was it our primary five or four? And I know nothing about the paper. But Alhamdulillah, my teacher knowing my performance and I've never been caught for anything like that, cheating or anything. He just let me go. And besides, it's not even my handwriting and it has never been me to do that. So it was later on I got to know that, oh, it was so, so, so person that went to keep it there. And the next day she was the one that still reported and at the end of the day, isn't it a waste of time for her now? Ah, uh, whatever. I don't even keep any grudges with them. And at the end of the day, I still maintain my position as one of the best in the class. So you see, this type of people, just leave them to themselves. You don't even need to fix them, you know, because time will fix them. You don't have the time to fix them. I know that since when I was in that primary school, I never took the time to go and fix anybody because they did anything to me. Forget them. You know, karma is real. It's real. The conscience of a person is enough. It's enough to torture them. The world will also really put them in their place. And the more they try to put you down, the more God elevates you. You know, even at my primary school, I was the only female that wrote my common entrance in primary five. And I was one of six boys and I was one of six people in the whole of my school that passed a particular exam. And I have one of the highest scores and I went to one of the best secondary schools. So imagine that person that planted that for whatever reason she did that. Isn't it a shame and a slap on her face being that I even left the school for them? I didn't even proceed to primary six because of my, my performance by the will of Allah. So many type of examples like this. Don't, don't lower yourself to go and fix anybody. Time will fix them. And Allah is the best of vindicators. He would really use what is meant for your harm to elevate you to greater places. So do make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it with your friends and loved ones. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow, inshallah. Bye.